waters were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of the way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples. Somebody say he separated the disciples. He separated the disciples. And he separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greek, and wrought special miracles, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs for aprons, for aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer today. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your anointing. God, that is already in this house today. And I pray, Lord, that you would let your spirit begin to just do what needs to be done in this house today, God. You see, Lord, that these young people are going to be going back to school. And I'm asking you that you would let this word go forth. God, that it be something that they would take with them into the schoolhouse. God, that would radically change their school, that would change this community, that would change this county. God, let your anointing work its perfect work, and we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen, amen. Turn, shake your neighbor's hand, and tell them the school of one. The school of one. And that's what I'm going to preach to you for a little bit today. Shake somebody's hand and tell them the school of one. Hallelujah. The school of one. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, hallelujah, amen, praise God, he's a mighty good God, ain't he? Amen. Hallelujah. Tyrannus, the Bible says that he stayed, Paul uh, went past the upper coast of Ephesus and found some of John's disciples, and he began to preach the gospel unto them, and as he went on his way, he came uh, unto uh, this certain place, hallelujah, and he began to preach the word of God in this place. Hallelujah. And as he began to preach in the synagogue, the Bible said there was those there that did not want to hear the word of the Lord. Anybody ever seen somebody like that? Amen. Amen. Don't want to hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But he went into the synagogue and he began to preach to them. Begin to speak boldly. The Bible says by the space of three months he began to preach and declare the word and the anointing of God. And after spending three months in the church and three months in the synagogue and preaching and trying to persuade them the ways of the truth and, and telling them about the name of Jesus and the power in the name of Jesus, there was a rejection uh, that came that the Apostle Paul said if they're not going to receive the word of God, he said, I'm going to have to move in another direction. And so the Apostle Paul began to look. The Bible said that he separated the disciples. And he placed them in order to where it was that they needed to go. Now I want to tell you today that God uh, will place people in the right place at the right time where they need to be. Does anybody believe that today? Amen. Amen. And so Paul said, being they wouldn't hear us in the synagogue, he said, I'm going to divide the disciples and I'm going to send these disciples over here and I'm going to send these in this direction and uh, we're going to do a work for God. And I want to tell you today that a lot of times people look for a position or a work of God to do in the house of the Lord. But I want to tell you in this last day, the Spirit of God is saying that I've called people and disciples. It's time, amen, that I separate some people and put some disciples in this area and some in that area. How many of you believe that today? Amen. Amen. Because the thing is that this message has to go everywhere. Amen. This message has to be preached abroad. It, it needs to go to a wide variety of people. But if we all stay in the same place, uh, and uh, the only time our ministry is ministering is when we're in the house of God. Uh, amen. I want to tell you that there's not a whole lot of people being reached. Anybody know what I'm saying today? Amen. Amen. But I hear the Spirit of God when I begin to pray about this service. God said, I'm going to set me some disciples aside. I'm going to send me some people into the enemy's camp. How many of you believe that today? Hallelujah. It may not come in the form of an apostle and it may not be uh, in the form of a prophet. Uh, but God said, I'm going to put me some disciples uh, in a certain place to be in the right place uh, at the right time. And I'm going to tell you. 
it matters. Uh, hallelujah, that we get in the right place that God has. Uh, because I want to tell you today, I hear the Spirit of God saying uh, that these are the last days. Uh, and God said, I'm going to pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. He said, your sons and daughters will begin to prophesy. Hallelujah. Anybody ready? your children prophesying. Uh, oh, come on, help me somebody. Uh, anybody ready to see a move of God uh, in places we can't go? Uh, you know what? I can't go into the schoolhouse uh, and begin to preach a message. Uh, Apostle Singleton, he can't go in the schoolhouse uh, and begin to preach a message. Uh, but the word of God said, I will send uh, my sons and my daughters. Uh, and I want to tell you, young people tonight, uh, that how in the spirit of begin to tell me that he wants to spark a revival in this community. It may just start in your school. Amen. It may just start with a young person that don't mind lifting up the name of Jesus. Somebody that don't mind being out of the crowd. I'll come on up to somebody. Somebody that don't mind saying you may talk about me. Hallelujah. It may not be the most popular way to go. But I'm going to show the anointing of the Spirit of God. I'm going to show my salvation. I'm going to show my anointing. I'm going to tell you today, when school time comes, you know what? You need to go in that place. Anointed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You need to go in that place. Say, you know what, devil? Hallelujah. I come to this place. I may be here to learn, but I
Hey, he said, I got to go somewhere else. Somewhere I can have revival. And the Bible said that he went into the school. Look at somebody and tell them God goes back into school. Hey, anybody believe that today? Paul said, I'm going into the school of one Tyrannus. And he went into that school. And one thing I want you to note, he only preached in the church house three months. But when he started revival in the schoolhouse, it lasted two long years. I come to tell somebody, you may think it's crazy, but I hear the voice of God. Today. 